Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a little while. Well, I got something really cool to share with you. There have been some updates uh, recently and one update that caught my eye uh, and something that I'm trying and starting to use is a new feature that's coming to PowerPoint. That's right, you guessed it. It is PowerPoint Cameo. That's right. No, it doesn't do that, but I'll, I will show you what it does do. So Cameo is an opportunity for you to integrate your camera right inside of your presentation. That's right, you could put an object, a camera in your presentation, just like you insert an image. And you could, uh, you know, style it, you could layer it, uh, you can add borders to it, drop shadows. You know, your creativity is the limit in this space. So I'm gonna show you how you can, what, what this looks like in presentation mode. But before we go there, just get your eyes on, um, where this feature is flighting right now. So it appears inside Office Insiders. I'll put a link on how you could uh, set up your client to switch to the Insider Edition. That's where the feature becomes available for you. There's also a nice, uh, if you type in the help cameo, you'll get a step-by-step uh, -step tutorial on how to use this yourself. Anyways, let me show you something cool. So I'm gonna hit uh, slideshow mode. So we are in slideshow. And in my first uh, slide, just the title, I'm gonna advance and I have my camera there. All right. Okay, so you might notice that this camera is just not my regular web, ca web camera. I will talk about how I got um, uh, OBS to uh, be there instead of the camera. So I'll show you that in a second, but let me just advance a few slides. There, I love that. That transition is morph, so which is nice. It takes your object and morphs it to the corresponding slide object or shape that you have. So I'm gonna keep moving this so it gives you an idea of what you could possibly do. Now, if you're trying to add multiple cameras, I noticed it's still the same camera. So the same camera is just duplicated in this instance. All right, awesome. So let me escape out of this. Okay, so how did this camera pick up an OBS scene, right? So as you can see in here, there's a, uh, a button to turn this on and off right at the bottom there, right? You can turn it off, you can turn it back on, and it's picking up a scene from OBS. So the way I did this is inside my camera, what I am choosing to use is something a bit different. I am choosing the new tech NDI video camera. So yes, it does detect your physical cameras, but I'm also noticing the new tech camera is detected. Now, Microsoft does not officially support virtual cameras, uh, but in this case, uh, I'm using an NDI camera and that's how I was able to do that. So inside OBS, I'm outputting a scene that I want and, and it picks it up here. Okay, so that's how we did that. Okay, let me just uh, zoom out of this again for you, that sound. Okay, so that's enough for uh, that's enough uh, about this update. I'm just looking forward for you guys to maybe try this out, try presentation, try to take it to another immersive level with your audience. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys again on the next one.